Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! <laughs> The things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. <laughs> Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again! The wheel's heading for the great elf tree! We'll have to warn the... Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit as strong as spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible. Elf honour is at stake. Elf honour? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf factory. Start work on the Elf rocket immediately. Right on. Right. Okay. Now, I will work out how to get the elf rocket from here... The Little Kingdom! ...to here. The Moon! Ah, Nanny Plum, I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The Elf Rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And we're elves. <laughs> ah! May I present the Elf Rocket? Not bad. Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an Elf Rocket. The rocket will land here, in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point? Oh, no. What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's some... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly? Of course! Danny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the 
fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> we can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! Lots, lots, lots! Oh, hang on, everyone! Not magic. We're elves and we... Oh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. <laughs> We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes... Uh, uh, Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Oh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is really Dad, nice I can hear oh, big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big... Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> squeak! <sighs> Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh, oh, oh. Squeak! Wise old elf! The, the squirrels, squirrels are coming! Uh, <laughs> Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> uh, oh, good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. Ah! Oh! Oof! I say! An acorn! How charming! Your Majesty! Throw the acorn away! A talking squirrel! Throw the acorn away, Your Majesty! Ah, wise old elf! Where did you come from? The acorn, Your Majesty! It's dangerous! Nonsense! How can an acorn be dangerous? 
this lovely acorn isn't dangerous. Two acorns. It must be my lucky day. Yeah! Was that supposed to happen? Well, not exactly. But the castle is a great place to store. The big children's wands are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now, I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! He stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Looks like the twins' party has started. Ah! Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the Two of Hearts. Your card is the Two of Hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad... Weather forecast. Weather forecast? Yes, we can use my elf weather detector. Wow! So can this machine tell if it's going to snow? Of course. How does it work? I listen to the weather through this giant ear trumpet. It's so sensitive I can hear a butterfly flapping its wings in Africa. Don't talk loudly into the trumpet. Sorry, wise old elf. Now, please stay quiet. Ah, interesting. Is it a butterfly? No, I can hear weather. What sort of weather? Uh, <clears throat> there's a chance of sun or rain with clear skies or clouds. Is it going to snow? I can say it certainly might. But then again, it might not. Oh. I know. Let's ask Nanny Plum if it's going to snow. Why ask Nanny Plum? Nanny can tell the future. Ha! This I must see. <laughs> Tell the future, can't you? I certainly can. Can you tell if it's going to snow today? Yes, I'll use my special snow forecasting globe. Oh, oh I see. You gaze into the crystal ball and it tells our fortune, I suppose. <laughs> no, you just shake it, like this. There we are. It'll snow today. Hooray! Stop, stop, stop. How on earth can that thing predict the weather? It's never been wrong. What if you shook it in the summer? Well, you don't shake it in the summer. Oh. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. This is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. 
Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Uh, we've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's okay. Arctic elves love wrapping presents, and we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up, and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! Ah! <laughs> chicken's escaped! Whoa, whoa! Catch that chicken! <laughs> Quick, to the elf truck! Follow that chicken! Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my ch What's going on? Bunny rabbit. More, more, more. What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat! Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity! They've turned all the elves into rabbits! Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! <laughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdy Wordy! Birdy Wordy! Phew! Do you think that's it? Yes, 
Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah, <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magic in. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But... Well, Doctor, can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or not. Expanding hands. Itchy ears. Hairy teeth. Smelly noses. Baldness. Ah, here it is. The common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un rond de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh. Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. <coughs> we need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. <coughs> Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Oh. 
Good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> level one, the computer room. It made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. Oh, splendid. <laughs> Let's go and join in the fun. Oh, happy Elf Joke Day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, 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 
What? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elta snail. <gasps> <laughs> Naughty, Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha ha ha. What's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. The wise. <laughs> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. Um, that's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today... We are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I make a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way, without magic. Oh. Thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills, so, um, goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill? is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. <laughs> What's that noise? Wise old elf, what are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Can Holly and I help you? Oh, yes, please. Now we can fix the sails. Finished! Oh, 
Ah, is it dinner time already? Not really. Could you get me a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles, please? Oh, and some plastic flowers. You're going to eat plastic flowers? When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, uh, good day, Nanny Palum. Can we join you? Yes, as long as you are quiet. Rightio. Hmm, now, uh, who can tell me how we know a watch is working? We can hear it ticking. Oh, yes, Holly. Very good. You see, we fairies know all about time. But you fairies don't have watches or clocks. We have our own ways of telling the time. Hmm, I'm sure you do. Now, how do we know when to wake up in the morning? The alarm clock rings. Correct. I wake up when the cock call cries. cock a doo doo day. Yes, I see. And how do we know when it's time to go to sleep? When the clock says it's bedtime. Yes. Correct again. I go to sleep when the owl hoots. Twitter woo! <laughs> <laughs> but without clocks, how do you know what time it is? We have dandelion clocks. Look. <gasps> One. <laughs> Have a go. <gasps> Two. And me. <gasps> three. That means three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's all fairy nonsense. <laughs> but it's fun. Fun has nothing to do with telling the time. I don't suppose you fairies can tell me what time it is now. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, but have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magicked this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? That was the most uncomfortable night ever. Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought, as you are the wise old elf... Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, 
Ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer? Er, uh, no. But I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Oh, wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Is this true, wise old elf? Uh, 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 I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho! Bye! Bye! Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me! And me! And me. And me. Queen Holly! Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream! Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly! Where are we going? To the kitchen! We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am! But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abraca do, Abraca bong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf. Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! 
Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Pop aboard. <laughs> Nanny Pluff. Is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! Oh, the mill's going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your life. Too fast! The mill is out of control! It's filling up with flour! Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down! <sighs> All right! I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind! No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're okay. <laughs> they don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. <laughs> Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 oompa. Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's much better! Yes, it's charming. But I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> For today's nature class, 
we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh. we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now... Who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Dun dum dee da, da la la dee da da. da Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me, frog spawn! You always said I should learn. No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means... Bah. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <whistles> <whistles> Ah, oh. <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <whistles> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <whistles> wow. <whistles> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A cow! <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk! Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> wow. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away. And what are we? We're elves. Baby Plum is up so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf. Goodness me, Mrs Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. Oh, no. The twins have made all the elves invisible. Uh, who's going to help us now? very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> a 
Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But, but... You can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or hairy bogweed. You both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm, on one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So it's agreed. Let's go! <laughs> 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 Look! Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, oh, it will take years and years to grow into a tree. Oh. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes. please, Nanny Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. Ah, put me down, you silly robot. You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot. Put the wise old elf down. Yes, bad elf. Oh, oh very strange. I, I don't remember the Z-33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back. Da, da, dum, do, da, di, da. Da, da, la, la, da, dum, di, da. Da, 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 da. What a beautiful sound. Oh. Where's it gone? Ah! That sounds like Nanny Plum. Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down. Yes, Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes, 
Watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want. Hmm. The king likes surprises, doesn't he? Yes. We can give the king a surprise party. But he doesn't want a birthday party. Ah, but it won't be a birthday party. There'll be music and dancing and fireworks and no one will say the word birthday. Gosh, that's very clever. It's brilliant. Come on, Ben. We need to get ready for the party. <laughs> Calling all elves. We need to arrange the king's party. Right. Oh. Hello, Daddy. I've got something for you. What's this? Open it and see. I said no birthday cards. It's not a birthday card. This is just a card to say what a lovely daddy you are. Oh, thank you, Holly. And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. There's one more surprise, Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. Where are we going? The Great Elf Library. Ooh. Excuse me, wise old elf. Shush. This is a library. Sorry. We need a book of modern cooking for Nanny Plum. But Nanny Plum is an excellent cook. Yes, she's the best cook in the whole world. But she can't do modern cooking. Hmm, let's see. The Elf Book of Pies, The World of Spaghetti and Mash, A Complete History of Egg Sandwiches. Is there anything modern? Uh, what exactly is modern cooking, Princess Holly? It is food that's very delicate and special, and not porridge. Oh. Wait a minute. This doesn't look like an elf book. That's because I'm not. Ah, a magical fairy book. What's that doing in my elf library? There are no words in the book. I am a magical cookery book. Where are all your recipes? Oh, if you tell me what you want to cook, I will tell you how to cook it. We want to cook a special modern meal, please. How modern? Uh, very modern. Certainly. You will need the following ingredients. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. It's not an earthquake. <laughs> it's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. 
Phew! It's not in my flat! Uh, our door's stuck! Here, son, let me try! I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your Majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Your Majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now, before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? 